Wow. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Epitaxer Joshua here giving you guys my thoughts on Twisted Neighbor. Another bad fucking thriller. Oh Jesus. Somebody give me a good uh, thriller. I don't care if it's theatrical or streaming. Give me one good thriller. This is a Tubi movie, of course. This is directed by Stefan Borgren. Stars Catherine Kohu, Zach Smadu, and Natalie Brown. A young woman moves to a gossipy neighborhood that is obsessed with a next door type app. When the neighbor suddenly vanishes, the group pinpoints her as the primary suspect. Before I go into my review of this, I'm going to give a little bit of a channel shout out to Luke Ponto. I saw his review of this movie and you know what, he is the one, like, he did not like the movie either, but I was curious to check it out for myself to see maybe if I could end up enjoying this a little bit. And Luke Ponto, he's a great YouTube friend of mine. He's a great buddy of mine. I do watch his live streams. I do watch his reviews. He's a great content creator on YouTube with the movie goers and live movie watch alongs and live movie reviews and live review and movie reviews all in general. And he's a great guy on YouTube. He's very underrated. He definitely deserves more appreciation. And you'll probably hear me talk about him again in another top 10 list I'm doing. So, Luke, if you're watching this, this is for you, Luke. Oh, let me just tell you this right now. Twisted Neighborhood is one of the worst fucking movies I've ever had to endure in 2023 so far. I sat through seven different movies this year seven almost all of them i reviewed children of the corn was a rant sister's boyfriend serial i don't even want to talk about that other one but in knights of the zodiac was one but this is a piss poor excuse of a fucking concept this movie is absolutely terrible Not a single damn good thing I can name in this. And the only, only sort of few positives I could reach deep into is I think Caroline Kuhut, yes, yeah, she was in Feeling Butterflies, which was another movie I wasn't the biggest fan of, but I didn't hate it as much. I thought she was the only one in this who's actually trying to make this shitty script and movie work. There are some unintentional, hilarious moments that I think are actually cool. They're laughably bad, but it's unintentionally funny. I can say that, of course, without hesitation. I will say the movie does have a cool opening scene, and the premise is actually neat. I'll give you that, because I don't even know where the fuck to start. The... This is... This movie... No joke is one of the most stupidest movies I've ever seen and you obviously have to see this to how see how terrible this shit was because this was this was terrible this was horrible and it was not very good to watch I did not enjoy this whatsoever and I just thought that this this from everything from a filmmaking level is bad here. You have an abysmal script that it feels like it was written in the first draft of shit. This is some first draft lifetime Hallmark S bullshit that you see on those world channels. Except without any of the tension, any of the thrills, any of the intrigue in this. And it definitely shows that on screen. This is one of the most terrible freaking scripts I've ever wrote heard in a freaking movie. It's a lazy script, turns of shit that makes you go to it. It is not there whatsoever. 
so the board the plot of this movie and the pace is so freaking boring this premise I don't see how you waste a premise like this with this girl next door type app which in a better movie would fit my description because thrillers a thriller like this should be engaging it should be interesting it should be awesome it should be getting you in, intrigued and it does not do that for one single fucking minute you fucked up bitch and on top of that shit it's just like the neighbors in this movie are fucking stupid they're freaking dumb they're freaking lazy and when they have choices in this movie there is also you have so many characters in this movie who are obnoxious as fuck in here. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. When it comes to the character development, the performances of the characters, the portrayals of the characters, everything is bad, bad in here. Does it also help that when you have some, sh some of the shittiest freaking incompetent direction, no one in here is trying to give a good performance. I've seen better fan films. I've seen better budgeted movies. Better thrillers on the same type of level do some shit like this. And they do it miles better than this. Way better than what this is supposed to come. Because I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. And it feels like I'm sitting here. It's like what direction are you trying to go? You're trying to go from point A to point B. It felt like I was watching Transformers The Last Night again with a mix of every single of the four after movies and Mean Girls 2 combined. Except wrapped up in one and makes it so freaking lazy that you, I don't know what genre and what type of execution are you going for here because the movie doesn't, doesn't tell you. And not to mention, the cinematography is terrible. The editing in this movie is sluggish. The music is generic, boring-ass, royalty-free YouTube music you can find on YouTube or the royalty-free movie website. Because the music doesn't even fit here. And I'm a big fucking music advocate, especially with film scores. Because I believe they should be preserved, not taken away. But this is easily one of the worst fucking scores I've heard in this. And the rest of the cast in this movie is not good at all. I I don't want to attack these actors too badly, but when the script is so freaking lazily written that I don't give a fuck about anyone, I have no other choice but to. And it's not their fault, it's more the writing thing, but I can't even tell you the rest of the actors' names because they're a bunch of lame, boring characters in here. And the only one I remember in this movie is Colleen. Because she is trying to get out of the situation. I, because I actually think she's doing the best she can with this. That is it. When it's fucking sad when the rest of your shit in this movie looks... When the rest of your characters in this movie looks disinterested, there's only one guy I can count on in here. Ooh, well you... All of that is nothing compared to the shitty third act in this movie. This third act was so fucking stupid, so fucking lazy, and so fucking dumb. I can't even describe it to you. It's almost, you have to see it to believe it, but it's not even worth the so bad it's good here because it's like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This is so overly stupid that it makes me want to apologize to some of my most hated movies of all time. That is fucking saying something. When you want to make me want to apologize to Mean Girls 2, Superman Girl, Superman 4, Batman and Robin, Transformers The Last Night, That's My Boy, every single of the fucking after movies, you know you don't did this on wrong. Consider this mercy. As much shit as I give some of my top 20 worst movies of all time, and even some of my worst movies of the year, I will give you this. I will give you the credit that you tried to do something different. I will give you the credit that you at least was trying to make something interesting out of this. And I will give them the credit that they were at least more competently made 
They didn't feel like fat films. This is one of the most cheapest made films. It feels like they only made a movie for 15 bucks. This movie's terrible. At the end of the day, I have nothing more to say on Twisted Metal than what I already said. This is a terrible movie. Almost nothing good about it. If there are some unessential little stupid moments here and the main actress is trying, but that's it. This is one of the most stupidest movies you will ever see if you watch this on Tubi. Abysmal script, horrible direction, terrible aside characters, terrible writing, boring, tedious pace, a boring ass plot that should not be boring to begin with filled with potential, and a third act that is overly stupid, that is so, that it just elevates me. It baffles me how this gets greenlit. But yet, uh, shit like the girl in the spider, the girl who played with fire and the girl who gets the hornet's nest got canceled years ago because that Sony didn't want to do the work. This is not a Sony movie. This, I'm just using that as an example. If you have to be, don't watch it. Don't fucking see it. Don't even be interested by a trailer. Stay away from this. This movie, get out of my face. I never want to talk about this movie again until 20, the worst of 2023. This movie's terrible. Avoid it at all costs. Well, that's gonna do it for the video that you just watched. If you want to see more, my channel icon is up here. If you want to see more content from me, all my social medias are right here in this end card. I will also leave a playlist and a video here for you to see what the channel is about. As always, acknowledge me, stay epitastic, join the epitastinists, and you guys, keep it cool.